So Kafka, basically, you configure it as a message broker where you have like a service that will produce uh, messages to it. The messages are directed to specific topics. Each topic is divided into partitions. And you can think of these partitions as append-only logs. So the producer just appends a new message at the end of this log, meaning quite high performance because you don't, it's a very simple operation. And it's done it, and on the other side with the, you have a service that consumes the message. Unlike message queues that you, once you consume the message, it will be removed from the queue. With Kafka, you just continuously, sequentially read the messages in the partition. Each consumer here is reading at the, their own pace. And once uh, you're done with processing some message, you commit it. So if you, are, if you restart, uh, you reassign, then uh, you will start from the last non-committed message. So using Kafka means that you, can, you get fa faster performance because Sometimes you will read this partition in memory inside the Kafka broker. And also, it's really easy to scale up because all you have to do is increase the number of partitions and you have more and more parallel processing and higher throughput that you can handle.